and welcome back. This is Bella Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined as always by Faith Hong Long. Today we have Emeralda and Satan with us, and we were finally able to get into the gears. I don't know what the problem was last time. Let's head north into a place with a 700 kilometer speed limit, I, I guess. Hey, I see you. You can't, you can't hide from me. How do I get over there? I'm going to have to dismount a bit. So, as soon as I get on the gears, need to get off, which is awesome. Go! There we go, look at him run! Open up that huge chest, we get a Zayasol DX. I don't know how he, they're able to open those chests. And over here, we get a King's Helm, which sounds awesome and like a male equip only I bet we can put that on face because it should be awesome oh it was way up there what the hell there it is plus five minus five on ether defense no no I did put the starlight on Emeralda on a black leather black leather and ether veiler black helmet yeah that is that is a straight upgrade for Satan, so we might as well put it on him. Damn it, I forgot to get back into the gears. We need to do that. Like, seriously, why do you make us get in the gears, and then before we do anything else, we have to get off of them? Damn you. <laughs> Damn you all to hell, why? <sighs> why was I even in the gears in the first place? Didn't need to do that, but apparently it made it go a little bit faster. And it's a little bit prettier to watch, I guess. So, let's head forward. We're gonna go to the left first. And over here we get a fight? What the hell are those? Go! What do we got? Go, Rumbler! Ha! I don't know what these are. But I bet they died a backward sword. Down they go. Alright. Satan gets to go again because he is just that awesome. Look okay. at Yako! Because we haven't seen that. Let's see if this is enough to kill him. Plus, Emerald is coming in pretty soon. And Faze got to turn pretty soon. If this doesn't work, we should still be able to finish him off. Okay. And I think... Let's go for Tornado Hand! Jeez, I mean, how did... Whatever, Nano Machines, that's how. She's, she's got Nano Machines. Let's go for a sweet cake. And that should finish this thing off. And we never really got to see an attack or anything. We are just too fast for them! Smash that ice. Down it goes. It explodes for no damage. Whatever. It's not like self-destruct. Nice. We get over 10,000 experience. And three eyeballs. Those things had eyes, apparently. And in this treasure chest, we get gold bullion, which is awesome. So I think I just want to go. Can I go through this door? Area B cannot go through. It is locked, apparently. And up these stairs, we find another door that's probably locked. So let's... No, there's another... Oh, we can go through this one! Awesome! This leads us to... I don't know what's going on here. Door lock system area A. So, I can't do anything there, it looks like. So let's go through this other door over here. This leads us... Awesome! Control room! That I can't use the controls in, but I can make it to the other side over here where there is the treasure chest with a wizardry ring. Still can't. I figured I could if I was on the other side. That door needs to be unlocked. Thank you! This is like the third door. Somewhere here, like right here, the power's cut off. Huh? What's up there? What? Like this? This thing right here? 
Oh, over here? There we go. It appears that some kind of fuse like device has blown. Maybe it's a fuse. So I think I need to go back into the other room on this other side. But not before fighting this new enemy. We have seen this before. This guy salts and eats people. And I think he is weak to rumble earth because he's got the craziest looking feet I've ever seen. Well, just like one foot. S looks like he stabbed him right in the nuts from this angle. What the hell? 1872, not for the win? You kidding me? It'll take a festive wind. You will like it. And just like all classic samurai, Satan holds his sheath in his hand. It's not like attached. And then he actually smacks people with it from time to time. Wait, seriously? You're not dead yet? Take a dark beast then. Surely this will be enough to take him out. I mean, we're summoning some kind of interdimensional teeth to suck this guy up. Bite on him a couple times and spit him out from the heavens. That should be enough to finish him off. No? Are you kidding me? You're still going? You're still kicking? How much HP could you possibly have? Just like infinite crotch shots. What the hell? Why is he lean back like that when I punch him? He's still not... What the hell do I have to do to this guy? Uh, do you have... Yeah, let's go for a crystal water. Yeah, smack people with the sheath. There we go. Multiple sword damage. For another 2,000, finally he does go down. Good lord, that thing was tough. I still don't know what it's called. We get, I'm gonna round that up. That's 10,000 experience. Still no level ups. No, no gold, no G, no items, nothing like that. So let's head through this door. Right? This is still backtracking, so we need to go in here. And I think we need to find a fuse in here. This looks like storage to me. There we go, found a fuse-like device part! So now we have to go back around to the other room so that we can put the fuse-like device in and replace the other fuse-like device. Can we just call them fuses? Like, can Faye be that smart? That would be awesome if he didn't call them fuse-like devices and just call them fuses. Replace the broken part! Power on! Now we can use this! Door lock system is now operational. Door lock area A deactivated. Done. So now we can go through these two doors here, which is awesome. Still can't go through the other door. That was a B, if you remember. So let's go up here to another battle. And up here we find a treasure chest. Nice. With a survival tent, which is always useful, except, you know, not right now. We'll head further down here. Apparently it's broken a bit, so I have to jump. And down here we find another door. But there's a battle in front of it. It's a guarded door by these things again. And through this door, what do we find? Ooh. A Zeta Salt DX. Awesome. And none of these are on. Is there anything in here? For main system use. It's inscribed as the C line. What the hell are you talking about? For main, yes, for main system use, described as the C line. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, apparently these are on. Activating main system. Input activation code. What? They didn't give me any numbers, damn it. We go three. And two. And four. And your mama. Yeah. Fuck you. Is this the main system? Any hints? Is it? Is it? Okay, yeah, these computers are apparently on. Please activate the main system. No? Is this the one? How about that one? I hate you sometimes, game. Hold on. Alright, so looking at it from this angle, right? This is the only clue that they're getting us, giving us, right? This is inscribed as C2. And then this one should say, yeah, for the main system. Okay, so nothing is missing here. 
right? The third one's missing here, the second one's missing here, and nothing's missing here. And I think that's the clues that they're trying to give us. So, zero, right? Three, two, zero. I hope they're counting this from, from the top, because that's how I count. Okay? Activate main system! Sweet! We got it done! So these computers are now officially on. Darlock system is now operational. Darlock area B deactivated. Done! Finito! What, what does this one do? Huh? Okay, that one still does nothing. What the hell? So, this is the door here that was B that was locked before. 